Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today I will be teaching you how to make papri chaat. So this is the masala I will be using in my uh, chana chaat. So if you want to learn how I made this uh, masala, just uh, look at one of my videos uh, underneath and you will find the recipe for this masala. And also um, a quick a tip for you guys if you want your chaat to be a bit spicy you can add uh, chaat masala like a couple of more teaspoon into the chickpeas and mix it well so uh, i use both of these i use my own masala as well as chaat masala together so uh, this is just a tip for you guys just a quick tip if you if you want your chaat to be a little bit more spicy then use this uh, shan ka chaat masala maybe one or two teaspoon uh, and mix it well uh, before you add the yogurt so over here i have chickpeas that have soaked for 20 to 24 hours and they are fully soaked they are about two to three uh, cups of chickpeas and now just add one one teaspoon of salt and uh, add about uh, if you have like two to three cups of uh, chickpeas add about uh, 10 to 12 glasses of water in there because we're gonna uh, drain out the water and throw it away so now i have uh, put my chickpeas in my instapot and i have set the um, settings to pressure cooker <clears throat> right here and uh, i have selected beans and I'm just going to turn it on and start and uh, we'll wait for about 20 minutes and then we'll see if the chickpeas are done. I just opened my uh, pot uh, and uh, now as you can see my chickpeas are totally uh, cooked after 35 minutes of boiling uh, in the pressure cooker and they are fully cooked and as you can see see when I press it it's totally done so try to use the um, these fresh uh, chickpeas instead of can of course if you're in a rush you can use the can one but if you want to get a good result for the chart um, use these fresh ones and boil them like that and now I will strain it and then ready to be used so today I will be teaching you how to make chana chaat. So over here I have this chana that uh, I will be using one cup. And over here I have this imliki chutney that I made. And this is the chaat masala that I recently made. So these are the ingredients you will be using for the chana chaat. So now in one cup of yogurt I will be using there i think it's about one to two cups i think i believe two cups of yogurt i will be using just a little bit of salt and i will be using just maybe one one and one and a half teaspoon of sugar and also i will be adding about one cup of milk in there to make it a little bit thin and this day I will be using this yogurt I will be using on top of the chana. So here we go. Simple and easy. So just beat this um this yogurt until it is in this form. See? So just remember two cups of yogurt and one cup of milk and and just uh, one fourth of a teaspoon of salt and sugar you can use one one and a half two two teaspoon it's up to you how much sugar do you, you want to add and you are done so over here i have boiled about uh, three um, red uh, potatoes for my chart and uh, they already boiled so boil it for about uh, 20 to 25 minutes in in a pot like that and uh, after 20 25 minutes they are totally done see when I pinch it, they are done. So 25 minutes in the water, boil it. Once they're done, uh, cut them in cubes and that's it. So now just quickly peel off the 
potatoes and then put them into cubes. So I will be cutting these potatoes like that. There you go, like this. Make it like into small pieces, just the way I'm doing it. And we are done. So now I will be adding about two chilies, long chilies. They are not spicy at all. One, I will be using one um, tomato, a little bit of cilantro, and about uh, uh, one fourth of a onion. So this is what I will be adding all, as well to the chana chart. So we'll just slice it quickly. I'll try to be like, try to do it very fine cutting, but uh, my cutting is just medium. So I'm just trying to do it my best. And with the green chili, you can cut this from the middle and then cut it also very, very thin, just like this, the way I'm doing it. And quickly cut the tomatoes very, very thin as well, like, like this first. And then just also tomatoes also try to cut them very, very thin, as thin as possible like that and I have this cilantro which is one fourth maybe two to three uh, tablespoon and we just cut it very very thin as well and we are done so I will be using this property on top of uh, my chart so if you get a chance just get it from indian or pakistani store and this is what it looks like right here so this is called property and uh, ask them and show them this back you'll be able to find them So now, as you can see, I have everything in my on my table. So around, I added some more uh, chana over here, um, chickpeas. So I would say there are about four uh, cups of uh, chickpeas right here, which we call it chana. And now we're just gonna simply assemble it. So I will take these three potatoes that I have cut right there like that you just add them all and you just uh, whenever you're serving the chart always uh, don't mix it until you're ready to serve so just put put everything in layers just like that and then put all the garnishing in there and right here and then when we are ready to serve we will mix it and now that's it and just leave it like that until you're ready to serve we're about to serve the chart now so i'm going to mix, mix everything now it is safe to you can leave this like that for an hour or so nothing will happen and just mix it well just the way i'm doing it and now I will add about two tablespoon of chaat masala. It should be enough, two tablespoon. And now mix it well. Just like that. Mix it. And we are done. So now from here, this is my imliki chutney right here. And I will show you how to make that. So that also I will be adding about three tablespoon full, just like that. And I am 
I'm going to mix that as well. Mix it very well. So now, in the end, while everything is mixed, I will just pour all the all the yogurt on top and just spread it on top of the chanas like this. So now uh, I have spread all my yogurt on top of those chanas and now I will put chopped masala left over on top of the dahi, just a little bit maybe maybe half a teaspoon and I will sprinkle a little bit of imliki chutney on the top just like that and see and now I will add a little bit of property like this and I am all done now as you can see looks beautiful I am done making my papri chart. Please try to make it and write a comment. Thank you.